no pressure. <laughs> Only fitting the guy that's literally been here every single day. I know. What are you going to do like during this time? Are you still planning on coming here every day? Uh, if they still serving food, then most likely I'll still be here. Because <laughs> <laughs> are they, is the cafeteria staff getting sick of you? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, I think I bring good energy. You know, I don't bother anybody. Faster. I mean, Jason Light said it, the coach has said it. What have you noticed about the overall team speed on defense just from what you've seen out here? Um, I feel like we're picking up on the defense very well. You know, the younger guys, they're coming along. So, like, I feel like this this uh, this OTA was very beneficial for us. So, you, like uh, faster? you know, I'm always fast, so, <laughs> so, you know, I'm just trying to, like, speed up my game process. So, I'm, I'm seeing the game better. I'm more confident now. So, I'm just looking forward to what, how the season goes. Jamel, are you still the fastest Buccaneer? Oh, most definitely, man. Uh, nobody's not beating me on the team. Is there anybody close? Trey Palmer's got a fast 40 time. Is there any newcomers that... I don't know, man. It's kind of hard to see people from behind when they're behind me, so... <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of running, you and, and Carlton have been... When you're not out there on the field getting your reps, you're out there kind of doing some sprints off of the side. What's the, the origin of that? Uh, well, it was beyond us. They just told us we had conditioning. So we were just like, well, we're just going to head and knock it out the way during practice. Conditioning, huh? Everybody has that, or did you guys get in trouble? Um, I'm just doing what I was told, so. Jamal, when you're facing this new offense that the, that the box are implementing and putting in, what's your biggest takeaway of it? What, what's the, the big changes with it? You know, they started, to make, like, they started to make everything look the same out of every formation, so it's kind of hard to anticipate what they're going to do. So that's what I like about it, because instead of having like a cookie cutter offense, you actually gotta like, you actually gotta like play your re like read your keys into the, when you go into this offense. Jamal, what have you seen from Baker and Kyle Trask? You know, I, it was a great. It's, it's been a great quarterback competition. Like watching them two like go like compete for one, like, compete against each other, because you know they this, the starting job is still up for grabs. So just just seeing like the grind that both of them are doing, man, it's it's impressive to watch. What, what You know, they all got, the, you know, both of them got their own, their own style. So, you know, Baker, he more of an outgoing guy, very energetic. Kyle, he more laid back, but he going to do what he needs to do. So, like, it's almost like day and night between those two. Can you see differences, though, in, in kind of their, their playing styles and their tendencies? I know they're running the same offense. Oh, and, you know, everybody had their own play, had their own play style. So, yes, yeah, they have, you see the difference. Charlie, you, you spent the last four years getting to this spot, earning your, your contract your place in this defense as a starter. Uh, what's, what's changed for you? I mean, you, you and Carlton are, are both starters now, but what's, what's changed for you in terms of your mentality? Are you just kind of still playing with with that notion that you have to earn every rep out there? And Yeah, you know, I still believe that it's still left to accomplish, so I'm not not going to hold back. I'm still want to improve my game because I still want to get Pro Bowl and All Pro under my belt, so that's like – my motivation to keep going and get better. No, we, we asked both who stood out among the undrafted rookies, and you mentioned Keenan Isaac. What do you like about him? You know, he came in, he learned, he picked up on the system very, like, very quickly. You know, he's a real smart kid. He got good length, athleticism. So, so I see like him being like he, he kind of like stands out, stands out the most. What, what did you like from Josh Hayes, the, the draft pick? Uh, he's playing some nickel, and also cross training at the corner as well. Uh, you know, he's just showing his versatility. You know, he's still picking up on the on the defense. Like I know how how that was his first year, head spinning. <laughs> but you know, he you know he he's staying calm. He got questions. He he don't mind asking. And you know, he very to himself right now. But he'll he'll speak every now and then. Any improvement that you've seen from Zion McCollum in his second year this year? Now you can see that you can tell that he's been here for. He's you can tell he got a season under his belt because he's more confident out there. He know what he's doing. He's trying out different techniques so he can see he see what works for him and what's don't. So you know that's like this next step in like in your career, like showing like you growing. Jamal, as a golf guy, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you if you have a pick for the U.S. Open this week. Uh, I haven't yet. I gotta uh, do my research. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of young guys, a lot, a lot of new guys in speed. So do you have a sense of how good your defense will be? I mean, you have a high standard. You guys want to. 
do you know before you get to camp, like, okay, we're going we're gonna to be all right here? Uh well you never truly knows but you gotta you get an understanding like okay people we're picking up on the defense and we seeing like the mistakes we're making now we're correcting it so when we get to the training count we shouldn't be making no mistakes but you know we're human beings so we probably gonna make the mistakes. But Todd changes it up right I mean this isn't the same thing he did for two straight years he's constantly changing things right. Yeah he always adds his, adds his little tweets so nobody don't have a B on us. Is there going to be another competition this year between the corners and the safeties for who gets more interceptions? Oh, most definitely. Like, I might need to start that up, like, right now. <laughs> Jamel, speaking of interceptions, you guys started off so hot last year with, with the picks. I and mean, look at the Saints game, you had a, a pair. But then after that, it was a minute, a couple minutes before you guys got some more interceptions. What, what has to change so you guys don't go through that dry spell and you get closer to that 17 picks you had in 2021 as opposed to just now last year? I mean, we just got to we have to create them. Like we got to get, we got to disguise more. We got to bait the quarterback into, into throwing in the spots that we want him to throw it to, instead of just lining up and playing, just doing our jobs because that's the rules. But we got to like create opportunities for ourselves. Does that mean taking more chances within the defense? I mean, you got to take a chance every, every now and then. You know, what's uh? You, sometimes you got to shoot your shot. <laughs> the fact that you are um, going up against a, a new offense, just how does how can that help you um, take the next step in your, your game? The fact that you're Um, I mean, it's really not much difference because the, the staff came from Seattle, so it, it's kind of like stuff that we've seen before, so it's not that that new to me. You know, you guys are going to be playing in the cream sick uniforms for a game this year. What's, what's that going to be like? You know, I'm so excited to wear those, man. I've been waiting for years to wear them. I'm like, man, I hope I'm on the team when they bring these jerseys out. <laughs> So, you know, it's exciting because it's, once I get it, I'm keeping it forever. Like, no jersey swap. Let everybody know right now, I'm not jersey swapping. You know, back in the day, those were kind of like a reminder to people of how bad the team was. Isn't that crazy how, how, the, how, the, how things have changed? And, and now they're, they're coveted. Everybody's calling for the reason. I know because it's, it's, it's starting to seem like a rare piece of item right now. Like, because we went like almost a decade without, without them. So now when you see them bringing back, you're like, oh, we miss seeing these. And then... You got to keep them because you don't know when the next time we're going to bring them back. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, 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 Thanks